Reuters. Violence increases in Afghanistan. In May and June, more international troops died there than were killed in Iraq. Increasingly, public attention has turned back to what was sometimes called the Forgotten War. In fact, presidential candidates Barack Obama and John McCain, as well as President George W. Bush, all agree on one thing. More U.S. troops should go to Afghanistan. With the last of the so-called surge troops now out of Iraq, can that serve as an example for Afghanistan? Rear Admiral Patrick Driscoll in Baghdad was made available to Reuters by the Pentagon. It's actually a model or it's uh, an example of what counterinsurgency is all about. First, establish that security and then help them rebuild uh, their, uh, their lives and their economy to have jobs. And so there's no uh, real uh, wedge there for the insurgents to uh, take advantage of. In Iraq, the United States has around 147,000 troops. John Nagel of the Center for a New American Security is the author of Learning to Eat Soup with a Knife, Counterinsurgency Lessons for Malaya and Vietnam. And the results have been far better than I could have hoped in Iraq, and I'm very hopeful that we're going to be able to apply some of that lesson learning even more rapidly in Afghanistan. There are currently about 214,000 foreign and Afghan security personnel on the ground in Afghanistan. Nagel, who helped write the Army's new counterinsurgency field manual, says it would take upwards of 500,000 troops to implement a counterinsurgency strategy in Afghanistan. And, and that's the right strategy to think about as we go forward. American units initially conducting counterinsurgency, other American units helping build up local security forces, and over time in Afghanistan, as in Iraq, fewer American forces doing counterinsurgency directly, more host nation forces doing it with American advisors embedded inside. And that's the direction I think we're going to go in both wars. The increased political attention to Afghanistan reflects widespread Western concern over rising violence, which is at its highest levels since U.S.-led forces toppled the Taliban after the September 11th attacks in 2001. Deborah Luterbeck, Reuters.